guys. So I am embarking on new journey, new videos for you. And let me fix my camera just a bit. <laughs> there we go. Um, so I want to do this new thing. Um, well, it's not a new thing, but I want to feature what I feel is capsule wardrobe in and minimalist uh, way of having things and I, I like I like these things like minimalists like only having just a certain amount of things um, because I feel like I go through this cycle where I buy a bunch of stuff and then I get rid of it and then because I have no stuff I buy a bunch more stuff and it happens like over and over and over again and I could have probably gone to Europe uh, like like more than a handful of times with all the stuff that I've bought given away sold you know and and so maybe you feel that same way maybe you're just bombarded with a bunch of stuff and um, I'm not saying that I'll never shop again. I'm just saying that uh, I want to shop less and give my time and money to other directions in life. So, um, so yeah, I would definitely like to travel more and to give more to charity and, uh, you know, not be so self-centered and selfish with uh, money, basically, and just blowing it all on clothing and makeup and junk so um anyway the only thing that i have actually worked out is my jewelry collection so i'm going to show you my jewelry collection and hopefully give you some starter points and some ideas on maybe kind of cleaning out uh some areas in your life all right so welcome back um, so first of all, I actually believe in this method. Um, I forgot the lady's name, but you can look up her YouTube, um, channel, which, um, she has this butterfly, not butterfly, it's, uh, organizing and she makes organizing really fun and cute with bugs. So you take her quiz and, um, and you figure out which bug you organize in. So I am a butterfly and just a bit about butterflies is that they need to see their stuff. So if they don't see their stuff, then they feel like it's out of sight, out of mind. And so I bought this driftwood uh, piece and it has hooks. It, they come in half sizes. So I bought this off of Etsy. And I don't even know what I even, like, I think I just looked up driftwood jewelry hanger. And so you could probably make this. Um, it's probably really, really easy to make if you're, like, good at woodworking and things like that. But I have to buy my stuff, so <laughs> I'm not really good at making, making things like this. But, um, so here all are all of my pieces. Um, so I really like gold. It's one of my favorite pieces. I just prefer gold over silver. And so all of these pieces are actually hand-me-down pieces um, or things that I got as gifts. So like this turquoise one was a hand-me-down from my mom. This was a watch that my grandmother wore. Um, that's just costume fun stuff. Uh, this one is a piece that doubles up as silver and gold that my dad got for me from his pawn shop. Um, this piece right here has uh, gold, rose gold, and silver, and it was a piece that my mother had. Um, this piece right here, these three um, bracelets were actually one bracelet, and we, my dad just took it to a jeweler. And I told him which pieces to separate so I can wear them all together or I can wear them separate and it turned out fantastic. Um, let's see, these I got off of Etsy. So these little hoop, 
Huggies I got off of Etsy. And then this is just an anklet that I wear occasionally. Um, and this is another piece I wanted. I like green. Um, I like emeralds a lot. So uh, I got this off of Etsy. And then the rest of these pieces I also got off of Etsy. Um, just some silver, plated silver um, necklaces that are plain chains because I like minimalist uh, chains. And then I got these uh, earrings off of Etsy as well. So I just interchange all of my necklaces every day, day to day. Um, I only wear two rings, my mom's uh, wedding ring and my thumb ring that I like. And so when I'm not wearing gold, I do interchange it with these two rings right here. So, um, yeah, that's my jewelry. That's my jewelry. I don't have a lot. Um, I also wear these two uh, necklaces as well. This came, this chain came from a different necklace. It had something different on it, but I just changed the two pendants that I got a long time ago. And um, sometimes I just make my own jewelry <laughs> to fit my taste and, and what I like. Um, but yeah, so um, I'm good and I'm set on jewelry. I don't need to go shop for jewelry anymore. The only one that I'm waiting on is this one right here. <laughs> this piece. I'm waiting on this piece. Um, so yeah. Um, but yeah, that's it. So some of the things that got me to uh, this way, this approach to my jewelry is that I just found classic pieces that I knew that could work across the board. Um, so like I don't have, I just have those one pair of gold uh, hoops. I do keep these in uh, all the time and then I just interchange, you know, when I want to wear earrings. And that's, that's it. That's just as simple as it gets. You don't have to get this ring or that ring or this ring. Um, I just, I like certain rings on my fingers and I'm good to go. Like, I don't have time to like, you know, place a ring here or see what ring is there. I mean, I'm just not that way. And that's why, you know, being a minimalist is you don't have a whole lot of things to interchange. And really, I mean, I only wear this necklace as a staple necklace, and then I just work everything around this necklace. This actually used to be one piece. Um, it came in a set, and I just broke it apart and interchanged, <laughs> interchanged the necklace part and uh, the chain part, and I put it on two separate chains and now it works out perfectly like it just works um so yeah so I just depending upon like what kind of shirt I'm wearing um because this one's like 22 inch long um I'll wear it and sometimes I'll wear just this one sometimes I'll wear the choker um it just depends so uh but yeah I you know I guess if you have a lot more jewelry well that um uh, my driftwood allows me to have just enough jewelry so i i got the biggest one that i could and it allows me to have just a certain amount and um i don't get any more because i don't have any more hooks to spare so that's kind of how it keeps me in line like okay if i want more jewelry i gotta get rid of one um and take take something out but I like all of my pieces and another thing is that if you have pieces that are passed down sentimental like all of my pieces are basically sentimental pieces um so I really don't have much like pieces of jewelry that don't mean something to me so I keep those I keep them all of them um there really isn't any single one of them that I would get rid of so that really helped me out a lot because I already had staple pieces. I just had to 
work around those. And so, yeah. Um, so, yeah, that is something that I'm doing. I already got my, that's my jewelry. I got that in place. And uh, eventually I will have um, more videos to upload and share with you guys my process and my journey um, working on a capsule minimalist wardrobe it's a lot harder than it sounds <laughs> and it's a lot harder than what they let on in other YouTube videos it's it's not as easy as it looks so anyway thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next videos